Hi everybody, welcome back to Arts and Crafts with me, Aviva, your art director from the Ed Asner Family Center. So, today we're making something super fun and squishy. We are going to be making oobleck. And I'm sure you guys have definitely played with oobleck at some point of your life. Uh, you make it at preschool, kindergarten, all the time. It is a super interesting liquid. It's called a non-Newtonian liquid. So it basically, what that means in like regular <laughs> non-science words <laughs> is um, basically when you pour it, it's a liquid. And then when you put any force onto it or you put any pressure onto it, it becomes a solid. So it's super, super interesting to play with. So what we're gonna start off with is a few different materials that you should already have in your kitchen. It makes it super easy and accessible for anyone. It's even easier to make than slime because slime you need borax and glue and colors and everything. But this, you're only gonna need cornstarch, some water, and some food coloring. But food coloring is really optional. But you, I also suggest getting some cool like creepy Carlies or just plastic toys to put into your oobleck to play with. Um, and then most importantly, you're gonna need a good container to put your oobleck in. So today I'm, I have a really nice big uh, Tupperware because it's great because it'll have the lid, I can keep it longer, I'll be able to play with it for weeks to come. Uh, I don't suggest keeping it for that long because it can get a little bit moldy and stinky after a while, but <laughs> so yeah, good fun for like about a week or two. Uh, you can also put it in a giant bucket and make a big vat of it because you can even walk on it and it'll stay, um, it'll like, <laughs> it'll like stay hard if you can, if you can walk on it for like a while, you know, um, you'll see. This is gonna be great. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so we have our Tupperware ready to go. And I'm gonna just move my little play toys out of the way so we can have all the space that we're gonna need. I'm gonna roll up my invisible sleeves and I am going to start out with our cornstarch. I think I have a... Um, measuring cup here and our measurements today are going to be two parts cornstarch one part water so I'm going to show you the measurements for that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my bucket out of the way so I have clear space and this is a one cup measuring cup so I'm going to need to do two cups of cornstarch so I'm going to Pat that down. This might be a little messy, so I definitely suggest doing this outside on some grass or over like a tarp in your kitchen. So I'm gonna just fill this up to the one cup mark. Tap it down. Doesn't have to be super precise. Just trying to get about a cup here. Alrighty, and then just pour in that first cup. And then I'm gonna go for that second cup. I'm already getting pretty messy here, but just stick with me. We'll make it through together. <laughs> All right, so let's see. This is about one more cup. Let me add a little bit more. I love the feeling of cornstarch. It's so soft. It's like a full, fully different texture than regular flour. All right, so I'm gonna be pouring this into my bucket. All right, getting all the sides. All right, I'm taking all that excess out because next comes the water. I don't want it mixing yet in my container. Okay, so let me just pat my hands. Okay, and then moving that back forward. And I'm going to start with my water now. So just clearing my space, getting my cup back to the center. It's okay if there's a little bit left in there. We're going to be taking, bring your measuring cup to the sink or pour your water in that you have on deck. And all you're gonna be needing is one cup. So two cups cornstarch, one cup water. And if now is the time that if you wanted to add a color to your oobleck, 
I suggest mixing it in with your water because if you add the food coloring in later on to the cornstarch, it makes it a lot trickier to really mix. So I'm going to be adding about a few drops. Depends how green or blue or red you want your uh, oobleck to be. So now that I have my color in there, I'm just going to grab something to stir. I have a pencil nearby, so I'm just going to stir it up with my pencil. I suggest using the liquid gel food coloring, not like the super pasty food coloring because then it kind of makes it harder to stir. All right, and then just taking my mixture and pouring it into my cornstarch. All right, so satisfying, okay. So now that we have our mixture here, our com combined ingredients, we're gonna be just taking our, you know what? Use your hands, go for it. I'm gonna use my hands to start mixing this up. So if you feel it, as you start to mix it, it's already starting to harden. So you wanna make sure all that water is mixed into your cornstarch. My helper here is making sure I have some paper towels on deck just in case some spills happen. But this is when it starts to harden, okay? So let's see if I can really get all that powder mixed in. I'll make sure everything's mixed before you start playing with it because you're gonna really, ooh, this is so cool. Okay, so once I have all this water in here, you're gonna be able to see what's happening. Oh my goodness. So weird. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that rest for a second. My, my water is not fully mixed in, but that's okay. So now, this is the coolest part. So now I'm gonna poke it and it's hard as a rock, okay? But then I pick it up and I release it and look how slimy it is. Let's see if you can see that. It's literally liquid now. Oh, so weird. So if I'm poking it, I could, see this is why I say put your feet into it. <laughs> it's so fun. Definitely just try and walk on it outside on the grass, get a bigger bucket. Cause it, as you walk on it, it'll be hard. But as you pick it up, it's smooth like water. So weird, right? All right, this is like, I'm gonna have fun with this for the rest of the day, but. With my green hand, I'm gonna be waving you goodbye because I am, this is it, this is our project. <laughs> it was super quick, super fun, and I hope you enjoyed it because I, I can't stop playing with this. I'm gonna, I think this will last a long time too, so have fun with it. Go outside in the sun, stick your hands into it, put your toys in it, play around, have a good time. And I'll see you next week, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. Goodbye!